I had a lot of contact with body workers or people that were willing to handle my body. And just that piece stimulated more sensation. Someone would bring a soft hairbrush and would basically comb the fur on my body, though I don't have much fur, but they would stimulate the surface of the skin. So just remember that the skin is the largest organ of our body. And it has amazing ability to draw information from the interior by just being touched on the outside. So one of the things that I strongly recommend is getting handled by people. And that means pretty much every inch of our body, um, just like a baby. So imagine that you're an infant. And what do we do with infants? We're constantly handling them, carrying them around. As adults, it's pretty hard to find somebody who's able to, uh, you know, wrap us around their body as we do with a, a small infant. We carry them on our hip, or we carry them with them wrapped around the back of our shoulders, and their legs are hanging down. So all that kind of stimulation is um, very valuable. And if you don't have a lot of people in your life that can do this, um, and you don't have hand movement, it's you know pretty, pretty tough way to go. So finding volunteers that can come in and uh, and support your contactual responses, literally. Um, hands are great, fingers are great, dry brushing is a, is a good thing. Um, anything that can stimulate the skin and therefore the muscles underneath and the nerves. In my case, right, so I was injured um, in the cervical spine, but everything below that was totally intact. Everything above that was totally intact. There was just the conversation between my body and my brain that that line of information had been um, damaged. And, but everything below, like I say, below the injury was totally fine. So finding a way to make that contact to keep the body aware that it was still alive was important.